Hi, my name is Cody, and I'm going to show you how our app works. First, I'm going to create a new game that I can invite my friends to. I can choose from either Hot Potato or Capture the Crown. I'll go with Hot Potato this time. On this screen, I'm able to change the name of the game, the start day and time, and also edit how many steps are needed to pass the potato. Up here, you can tap for an explanation on how to play the game, but I'll just tell you. Once the game starts, one of the players will, pa will be past the potato. When they get that notification, they need to get going to achieve 1500 steps as fast as possible. Once they do, the potato is randomly passed to another player. This keeps happening until the game ends, which none of the players know when that will be. So as soon as the potato comes to you, you want to get rid of it as fast as possible. The player that has the potato when the time is up loses, and the player with the best stat is whoever had the least amount of potato time, on average, or how long it took them to get their 1500 steps. All right, I'll go ahead and invite some friends and get started. Now we'll fast forward a few hours and look at where the game is at. Okay, so you can see that the potato has been passed six times with an average potato time of 25 minutes. Shelby has the potato right now and this bar shows how close she is to achieving her 1500 steps so that she can pass the potato. Up here you can also tap the messaging icon to cheer your friends on or to trash talk, whichever you prefer. Oh, it looks like Shelby got her 1500 steps and the potato has been passed on to me. I better get running. Oh man, right as I went out the door, the timer just ended and I have the potato. Let's check the stats from the game. Looks like Shelby won the best average potato time of 18 minutes. Dario got second and Logan got third. Even though I had the second best average potato time, I lost since I was stuck with the hot potato. Try again next time. There are 19 million registered Fitbit users and many more coming in. It's a huge market and only growing. Fitbit's annual revenue doubled in 2015. This is the thriving market we want to join. Not only will our current app be compatible with Fitbits, but future versions will include other fitness trackers, even those built right into the phone. This makes anyone with a smartphone a potential user. Current competitions built into fitness tracker apps focus too much on step count and fail to include game mechanics and elements that make games fun. They typically only appeal to highly competitive player types. In contrast, our games provide an element of chance and appeal to both competitive and cooperative players with multiple ways of winning and losing at the individual and team level. We have designed our app with social psychology and behavior change research in mind. This, combined with our understanding of game mechanics, will help users have engaged fun while getting active. This sets the stage for us to take a big part of this market. To monetize FitPlay games, we would offer a free version of the app with advertisements and in-app purchases, and then also a paid ad-free version with extra features. Our free version would include a base amount of mini games with the option to purchase more. It would feature small banner ads at the bottom of the main page and splash screen ads when you finish playing a game. We would also include subtle sponsorship shoutouts within game notifications. Thanks for taking a look at FitPlay games.